so yesterday or two days ago we had an early tuesday podcast we ended on two minutes exactly two minutes (laughs) 22 minutes exactly then yesterday's podcast we ended on 23 minutes exactly now today's podcast do you think we can do it you think we go three for three and end at 24 i think we can i don't know Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. Ah, ah, ah. I am Spencer Cardier. I am Sam. I am Sam. I am, and this here is Frank. I am Frank. He is he, she, we were. He always what will be. Is going on, guys. It is Friday on a Thursday. <laughs> yep. It's fr- this whole week we has moved been moved it up. This whole week has been jumbled around. Yep. All starting with Tuesday, which never forget. The day we all got to see and live through. If you're watching this podcast, it means you got to live through the greatest Tuesday of the entire century. People, young people will ask you about it one day. They'll say, wait, it was 2-22-22 on a Tuesday? And you'll say, I was there. I was there. I remember. I remember I was sitting right in the seat. I was there for 24 hours. All 24 of them. Mm-hmm. I think I slept for about eight of them, but the rest of them, I, I was awake. I, I stayed up because I didn't want to miss. I you knew. got the full. You said, yeah. I can sleep on the 21st and the 23rd. <laughs> yeah. What what if something happened on one of the? <laughs> <laughs> Were you yeah? But oh, you know what I feel like I didn't really appreciate, and I'm only thinking about now, which is pretty unfortunate. Two twenty two p.m. I think I just let it go, like fly on by. No, I didn't. You were I, there. I put on a two two. You just were like <laughs> this the entire time. Yeah, yeah. I had oh, man. I had Fomot. You were wearing two hats, two shirts, two pants, and two socks. Yeah. Everyone wears two socks. <laughs> <laughs> two gloves. I had on. I used to wear two masks. Oh. I had FOMOT, fear of missing out of twos on twos. Okay. Well, guys, it is not the 22nd anymore. It is the 24th. We're coming to the end of February. Because yeah. February is a short month. It is. There's only 28 days of mm-hmm. it. And we are four days away from it being your birthday month. Mm. I think we're in Pisces season. We are. If you're born on leap year, you know, you only get your birthday every... I know someone who's born in leap year. I did too. You only get your birthday every four years, but you're allowed to celebrate it on March 1st. Yeah. I think. Well, the girl I know, she says, I celebrate on birthdays and that's the, that's what I, I deserve that. Oh, you mean when it comes around on that yeah, fourth? She's a 20, the 28th and the first. Oh. Yeah. I was listening to this woman and she was saying that in Jewish culture, uh, oh no, you just got to wait the four years. That's the way God intended. Oh. You don't get to. You were you were a terrible person no, in your past life. No, it's just, you're special. You only get it every, because you're younger than everyone else too. Yeah. You die at the age of 16. Ay, ay, ay. Well, guys, um, yeah, so it is the 24th national holidays. I'll tell you. Yeah. It is national chili day. I love me some chili. I love chili. Love chili. Do you like yours chili. with beans or without beans? Beans. Do you know, I, I read somewhere that originally it was made without beans. Well, chili con carne means what? Like peppers and meat? Yeah. Yeah. It's also National Tortilla Chip Day. Oh, good. I can eat my tortilla chips. Are these tortilla chips? They are. With with flavoring. I with won't. Some... They'll be too crunchy. That's okay. <laughs> it seems like they have a little bit of a connection, right? They're both like Spanishy foods. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's National Mexico Flag Day. It is? It is. Huh. Now, my question is, do you think, like, what do you think came first? Do you think it was National, not National, National Mexico Flag Day? And then they said, well, let's start celebrating some some of the dishes. Well, if you had done your research, you could. it, it always tells you when the holiday started. Well, what's the point of research <laughs> if we, can, uh, we we run out of things to talk we, about? We can ponder. I don't know. It's just something to think about. Well, final day. I'm sure it's more days. The only one I'm going to talk about. National Bartender Appreciation Day. National Bartender Appreciation Day. Go out and appreciate your local bartender. They do a lot. Imagine. We were going to open a bar. Yeah, well, life's not over yet. <laughs> um, it's also coming to the close of of, of um, Black History Month. Yes, it is. And um, it should be every month. And um, so, so on and so forth. But tonight in Carnegie, Carnegie Hall in New York City... They're having this. Um, Where's this Carnegie Hall? New York City. You just said that. <laughs> um, there's this type of music. It's called Af- Afrofuturism. Whoa. Yeah. That sounds like some techno stuff. Yeah. As a matter of fact, this man who's, who I don't know if he started it, but he, Youssef Latif, 
um, cool guy, born in 1920, died in 2013. Um, he, he, I think he called it auto, auto physio psychic music. He, he rejected the title of jazz. He's like, it's so much more. And from what it says here, that as auto physio psychic music is the concept uh, that blends music, visual arts, science fiction, and technology to imagine alternate realities and a liberated future viewed through the lens of black cultures. That sounds like an awesome concert. It really, really does. you know, like when you go to concerts and you're like, what are you really paying for? Because yeah. nowadays we have such good audio quality. Right. You can hear it. And it's like, well, you're going for the performance. It's like, it, what makes someone good at concerts? Yeah, their voice. Oh, they sound good live. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you're going to see the, the performance. Right. And this seems like. That's they're like, yeah, don't even don't even just take one part of this. Yeah. Don't say it's a type of music. This is this is all your senses are going to be diddled. dazzled, dazzled. Yeah, I was saying diddled and, <laughs> and I meant it's, dazzled. I meant dazzled. dazzled. It started with a D and with dazzled. a D. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, today is a special day. You might be used to it that we've been doing on Fridays. Today we're doing it on Thursdays and tomorrow we're giving you nothing. No, we have to go. Dun, 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 dun. It's Carnival Weekend. Oh, is it? And you're Trinidadian, and I'm around Trinidadians. So we're going to mind my business and drink my water. That's not the tune. Don't play that, because I'll sound ridiculous. <laughs> but <laughs> big, big song. You see it on TikTok. It's a Trinidadian song. Um, Patrice is her name. Um, but yeah, Carnival Weekend. I saw, Obviously, I saw this thing. Oh, sorry. No. That's... Obviously, Carnival is going to be Monday and Tuesday, but... This whole weekend is the party. Yeah, it's a party. Yeah. It's a party. It's a party. I saw this thing. It's a guy on TikTok and he gives you like little like daily things to keep your, your old and decrepit brain from getting too old and decrepit. Mm. And so the one he gave us yesterday was pinky and, 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 and index. Mm-hmm. And then you switch. To do. It's not as easy as you might think. Pinky. You have to do it to the camera so they can see as Sorry. Well. I'm already wrong. So look. So I got two fingers on one hand. Okay, close mm. all your close all yeah, and now and then you switch. Wait, oh my god, it's gonna prove how how my brain my my brain don't work. Okay, and then we switch. Yeah, right. Spencer, I don't want to do it. I can't do it. I'll have to practice. Well, it's hard. I mean, that's <laughs> hard. And so and so, you get, it gets your mind thinking. Ah, because that last thing you want is a stagnant mind. Speaking of stagnant minds, we're reading a Dr. Seuss book because it's Dr. Seuss Friday on Thursday. Thursday. So, guys, it is Dr. Seuss Thursday slash Friday, whatever you want to say. And what, we, what we've been doing for the past who knows how many weeks is we read a Dr. Seuss book. And that might seem childish to you, but, but it's, it's not. not. It's not. It's not. Dr. Seuss was a very intelligent man who wasn't, in fact, a doctor, but he might as well have been. Mm-hmm. And he learned how to capture the minds of, of, of the young and tell stories like few other people were ever able to do. Parables. Parables, if you will. And so once we get to a certain age, we start saying, oh, what's the point of that? It's for kids. It's for kids. But a lot of the messages in Dr. Seuss books can be used as metaphors in our lives. Children were loved by Jesus. Why? Because of their innocence and their ability to to take in information like a sponge. Right. And when we get older, the same way you want to practice, you know, keeping your mind up. You want to practice. You want to keep learning about these simple concepts that as a child seem so simple. But can be still used in applications today. Yeah. So we've done it before. And so today, though, it's even special. Maybe it's because it's Thursday. Maybe it's because it's not. <laughs> but for the first time, we are reading a book that we know. All the other books we didn't really know. Finally, something recognizable. We are reading a recognizable book. I'm sure you all at home would recognize it. We are reading Green Eggs and Ham. Explains your name, Sam I Am. We're <laughs> reading Green Eggs and Ham. <laughs> Sam I Am. So, I obviously read this book. I know this book. I don't know it well enough. I didn't read it before the show to have a idea of what we're going to talk about right. after. So, together we are going to read and think about... Ow, that's a sharp corner. <laughs> sharp corner and a soft temple. Sharp corners. And, um, yeah, we're going to try to get a little bit of a, of a meaning message from it. Let's get into it, shall and we? And I'll be practicing this, yeah. this hand thing. I am Sam. I am Sam. Sam I am. That Sam I am. That Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? 
I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you, could you, in a car? Eat them, eat them, here they are. I would not, could not, in a car. You may like them, you will see. You may like them in a tree. I would not, could not, in a tree, not in a car, you let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, on a train? Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car, Sam, let me be. I would not, could not, in a box. I could not, would not, with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Say, in the dark, here in the dark. Would you, could you, in the dark? I would not, could not, in the dark. Would you, could you, in the rain? I would not, could not, in the rain. Not in the dark, not on a train. Not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. You do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Could you, would you, with a goat? I would not, could not, with a goat. Would you, could you, on a boat? I could not, would not, on a boat. I will not, will not, with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train. Not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. You do not like them, so you say. Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Sam, if you, let, if you will let me be, I will try them, you will see. Oh, this whole page is him trying them. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do, I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a goat. And I will eat them in the rain. And in the dark and on a train. And in a car and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box. And I will eat them with a fox. And I will eat them in a house. And I will eat them with a mouse. And I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. I am. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so the, the guy didn't have a name. I, the the producer. The, You're the, the Sam pres- I am. The presenter was Sam I am. Yes. <clears throat> Persistence paid off. Persistence paid off. On Sam I am's part, right? Yes. Tell us about it. Um, well, I, I see it more from his point of view. Okay. So not Sam I am, right? The person who was being badgered. The person who's being badgered. <laughs> now, if we're going to, you know, turn this a little where's this a spirit spiritual podcast, you see? Is was he I wish he did have a name. Let's call him Charlie. Okay. Was Charlie what we always say of having his ears closed, mm. right? And actually in this case his mouth closed. <laughs> and without having any knowledge of whether he likes it, he doesn't want to hear about it, he doesn't want to care about it. I don't like them. Uh, and ha- yeah, because was it ever revealed that Charlie had never eaten them until the very end? No. So this, this the whole time, I thought, leave him alone. He, he's tried it and he doesn't like it. Yes. But he didn't and he just, you, and I, how, how often do we do that in life yeah. of, of make assumptions of things we don't know? It's that idea of not being open-minded and not going out. Of, you, you know, yesterday was National Inconvenience Yourself Day. Mm-hmm. And part of inconveniencing yourself, like that whole day was the idea of inconvenience yourself to help someone else. Mm-hmm. He wanted to just do his own thing. And he was like, you're inconveniencing me, Sam, I am. Mm-hmm. And that's the whole book until he got so inconvenienced. He's like, just stop. 
But if he went, if he tried to inconvenience himself a little bit and, and try something and step out of his comfort zone, he would have realized that he loved green eggs and ham. Right. He was miss- he would be missing out. Now, maybe this goes even deeper. Maybe Dr. Seuss. Dun, dun, dun. Now, why do, you, why do they call him Sam I Am? I was wondering. When, okay, you're going to say God. I am, I am. When I first said I am as an introduction, I thought to myself, huh, I'm saying I am in there. No, I'm just saying. I don't know what Dr. Seuss was, was doing here, but maybe, and even if not, we can think of it that way. Yeah. I am, I am. And is God not constantly reaching out to those and saying, Hey, if you come to me, like, it'll be great. And it's like I don't want to. I don't. I don't want yeah. to live a spiritual life. I don't want to live right. a religious life. I'm not in a not in a box. Not with a no fox. No scenario. And and yeah. it's when you do finally accept that. I, mean, I I wouldn't use the same kind of bereavement as you know it was being used by Sam. I am, but this idea that it's always there. Yeah. Like you can't really get away from the green eggs and ham. And then when you finally try it, you're like, well, yeah. This is this is it. This is this is this is my meal. Yeah, and, and he was very rewarded, and also then he was open up to so many things because he he said, uh, not only do I like it and and um I appreciate it, but I want to try it with all of the things that you mentioned. Yeah. So, um, and also this Sam I am who was offering it to him was trying all different ways. Like, okay, maybe you wouldn't, you know, yeah, maybe. Maybe the way I'm presenting it, you're not liking it. So how have I present it this way? How yeah. about this way? How about this way? Um, yeah, I, I, I was just kidding when I said he was badgering him. He was, you know, when you you know when you have something really great and you want to share it. Yeah. You know, and and maybe the person maybe the person, um, is just reluctant with no bear with you know no yeah. reason at all except that it's different or it's new information. Yeah, but them. and then just on, on another sort of point. I think there is a, there is something that we, I feel like we see IRL in real life of the compounding disinterest mm-hmm. when you've closed yourself off. Yeah. In the beginning, it might have been a small inconvenience, right? Yeah. And I feel like often we get our, our I feel like maybe even our own pride gets the best of us. Mm-hmm. And it's like, if you say, ah, no, I, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to hear about that. And then it's like. Even though it's just, it would be a slight, like, like I don't really want to. But then the more and more, and by the end of it, it was like, literally, he was going crazy. And it's like, it would have been such a small little thing in the beginning. Right. And I feel like sometimes there's things in life where we need, like, we should just swallow our pride and realize that we are being the one who's not open-minded. I think yeah. that a lot of this is being open-minded. And Absolutely. we can get lost in this idea of, no, no, no. Yeah. I, 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 and now I've said no so many times, I can't say yes. Right. And I think that's true because in, in the... Beginning illustrations and the beginning of the book, page nine, you know, he doesn't like Sam himself. Yeah. I do not. I do not like that Sam I am because just his very presence was bothering him. Um, And so then he keeps his joyful attitude, Sam I am the whole time. At the end, he likes the green eggs in him. And I guess he changed his mind about the character as well because he says, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. To the guy. And um, yeah. And he and they're both smiling. So like it was. It wasn't a bullying situation. It was wanting to, um, yeah, wanting to show him everything that life was offering, and that he was he was cutting himself off for no reason. And also, there's a certain there's a certain aspect of that, right? That's like sometimes I feel like we close off ideas just because we don't like the source. Yes, or it's like we, <gasps> that's a good one. We put ourselves in these boxes of like, well, I, can, I don't even want to listen to you because. Yeah, it's like uh, on it's like like politics. Let's say it's like you don't even want to talk to the other person. Yes, like, we disagree. It's like, well, what they're saying doesn't even ha- might not even have to do with them and what they're offering you. That is so like, important, especially in spirituality. Yeah, and and so and so when you, when you're looking, I don't like Sam. This this Sam I am looking yeah. at him, always smiling. What's running he around. offering you? And he's like, hey, I have green eggs and ham. It's like, no, I, I don't like it. I don't even want to talk to you. I don't like it. And it's like you you you're, you're you're putting such a wall around yourself that. Like is the definition of not being able to to take things in and, and learn and have new experiences. The reason we read Dr. Seuss books, right, is because of this idea that we are, oh, we're like we're adults. What, what are we gonna get from a Dr. Seuss book? It's like, well, we might get something, right? And it's the same idea with the green eggs and hams. It's why would I like green eggs and ham? Right. What, what about? And it's like, well, have you tried it? Yeah. No. Have you really? Yeah. And um, 
Now I'm thinking about it. Yesterday's walk through Wednesday had Jesus walking around doing his thing. And, um, you know, I don't know what they're called. Pharisees. The Pharisees were angered by his very presence. I don't like him. Yeah. I don't like him. I don't like what he's saying. And they were eating yeah. and, and they were like judging them and we don't, you're doing wrong. And, and they were completely closed off. Yeah. Um, I mean, look at that. Look at literally like someone like Jesus where. There was the a lot of these Charlies is the name we gave him, <laughs> which were the, they were going around. They're like yeah. this this Jesus guy. Yeah. And then, if anything, it, it's sort of like uh, is, is Charlie too different from Paul? That was another um, recent verse we did. Where remember they're like, what's he babbling about yeah. when he was in Greece? No, I'm saying oh Saul Saul to Paul. Oh, okay. And so what was was uh, for those who don't know Paul who wrote many of the letters and books of the of, of the new testament promoting christianity originally was a roman soldier killing christians <laughs> killing followers of jesus and then he was revealed in, through a vision and then he completely changed he was like would then go around and just promoting jesus yeah. jesus's uh mission and, and love and story yeah, you're right this is this Charlie really did change from the beginning to the end. Yeah, and and was that the same way? Like I don't want to, even, I don't even want to know what he was saying, what he was preaching. Yeah. And it's like obviously, just like the green eggs and ham. Paul's like, I love it. I'll read it in <laughs> Rome. I'll read it in Greece. I'll read it with a sweatshirt. I'll read it with a fleece. <laughs> Good. Uh, this is fun. What is seven books in or something, and you're finally <laughs> being your own Doctor Seuss? I don't know. I might start <laughs> writing a little rhymes. But yeah, so it's it's that idea of of opening yourself up to be able like because you'll, you'll never know right like this book ended good with like the, the constant badgering and it's like he finally tried it and realized he it was a new awakening yeah but how often in our life do we not and then we yep. never no i don't like green i don't like you sam i am i don't like green eggs and ham Mm-mm. see you later you never knew that you what you just walked away from that's right was something that that you absolutely love you're right and so that's an important thing to take note of i think and um always i feel like constantly i wish today was actually national inconvenience yourself day because mm. we were trying to say how is that a good thing why isn't it just like national help people mm-hmm. but i think this is like this is a book is sort of an example of like that kind of inconvenience yourself because you don't know how rewarding it might be and it's like if you constantly stay in, in your own lane it's like i know what i know i've yeah. tried what i want to try i like I, I don't want other people offering me anything mm-hmm. but it's like he could have, in the beginning, saved so much trouble if he tried the green eggs and ham and said, I don't like this. And then Sam I Am would have been like, okay. Yeah, you're toodle- right. Toodaloo. It'd be but a, this idea a three of, page book. I don't even want to hear it. I, I don't yeah. even want to hear your view. It's like, you should be eating as much, like learning as much. And then you can decide there will be things that you don't like. And right. then you know why you don't like it. Right. Or there'll be things that you like. And you're like, well, I'm so happy I went on my way mm-hmm. to try this. But guys... So yesterday, or two days ago, we had an early Tuesday podcast. We ended on two minutes exactly. Two minutes. <laughs> 22 minutes exactly. Then yesterday's podcast, we ended on 23 minutes exactly. Now, today's podcast, do you think we can do it? you think we can go three for three and end at 24? I think we can. I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's, but you know. It's a pre-Lenten celebration. All right, guys, enjoy your carnival. We will not be here tomorrow, but we'll be back next Wednesday. Normal Ash things. Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday. Oh, it's not normal. It's the <laughs> first day for normal. We'll be back on Ash Wednesday. Um, go out and, and stay open-minded. Ears open, eyes open, mouth open for your green eggs and ham. Peace.